Excuse me, welcome back everyone to <laughs> Victory at Sea Pacific. This is episode number 49, I think. Okay, so we already know what the game plan is. Keep pushing, take Iwo Jima, get all the carriers up here, and then drop the bomb. Drop the bomb. We may need to do it from Okinawa. I don't know. Are we going to be able to survive all these aircraft? So, Shimako... Shimokoshiki? Shimokoshiki? Uh, was this a major uh, naval base? I can't remember which one. Hmm. So the major ones they have are Tokyo and Yokosuka, but I'm not sure that's uh, historically accurate. Anyway, so let's move on. Um, I don't have anything building at Mare Island right now, and what the wise person might say is, look, if you have a lot of war bonds, at least build some convoy stuff. This will take 450 war bonds to complete. Now, we'll actually still have over a thousand. Um, I guess let's do it. Get six more building there. The reason why I wasn't sure I wanted to do this is because I was thinking about building a Portland here. We do have a Portland building just south in San Diego, and this one will be ready in 27 days. How many days does it take to build this thing normally? 43. So we have 16 day head start. Is this going to take 16 days? It's about right. <laughs> in fact, yeah, I mean, we don't want the, well, I guess we should, what we should do is, yes, we'll cancel these. Does enter work? No, it doesn't. The reason why is because I actually want to build up um, some escorts for this thing, which have to be destroyers because nothing else will move fast, fast enough. Gridley goes 38.5, so the Gridley will work. So that this is, and actually we need more destroyers out there anyway. Are these the dual purpose guns? I don't know, I don't think so. But four or five inch guns is good. So we'll get three of them, and you know, we'll just upgrade them immediately. And those will be the escort for the Portland, which takes the bomb. Yeah, and other other than that, we really mostly want Atlanta class ships. I don't think we're oh, we're building Baltimore's. Okay, yeah, Baltimore's are even better, much better. Okay, that's it. So if the war continues to go on much longer, you know, we'll just build more Baltimore's and carriers. And those, by the way, the Yorktowns and such, those are very very close to completing the Yorktowns that we have going on in San Diego I believe that they're three three days away from the first one completing three days seven days and 13 days so these will be done very very quickly and they will hopefully get to meet up with the Baltimore's which are currently constructing yeah that makes a lot of sense the Baltimore's over here they will complete luckily with the uh, Corsairs already ready to go that's very nice so all right let's move on on so we're gonna want to do some bombing missions. That's right. That's what the plan is here. So let's slow down for a second so I can group up some bomber groups. Group up some bomber groups. Hornet is now the lead of this. Anyway, so we'll get this guy to move. Enterprise, you as well. We'll launch a group of three. Sorry, that's four. And Yorktown will launch a group of four. Hopefully that works out. I'm just going to go away and come back. <laughs> And everything will be fine. <laughs> Don't know what to do with that, all that information you're giving me, game. Can you imagine trying to take... I know, I know that to win the game, you don't need to take every single... Yeah, we have like... <laughs> no defenses left. What is the Numea defense doing? Oh, yeah, okay. <clears throat> Ports. Supplies are low and pretty much everything. Yo, wow! Wow! Supplies are low at Mare Island. That does not make sense. This is a, supposed to be a supply point. 
How does that happen? <laughs> does not make sense. I wonder how you can even... Is this how much stores they have? I think it is. This is a, like a an approximation, like a single figure to show how much stores they have this green bar. But it's a little weird then, then why... Why are like San Diego and Puget Sound and Mare Island, why are these... That doesn't make sense. All right, so our groups are, let's just make them form up. Oh, look at we got one who launched with only half. It might make it. Do I wanna risk it? I'm not going to. I'm gonna detach this one and just bring him home early. Not really sure what's going on here. Also this spotter, I thought this was fixed. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on with that one. There's always a, you know, something that you're curious about in this game. <laughs> it keeps things interesting in a way. All right, let's go to these guys. This might end up causing them to hit the deck. It did not, which is great. One of them supposedly has an attack icon. I don't, I don't know why is that. All right, so when in their movements, let's get them to climb up a bit. as well. Looks good to me. This one's not actually going home. Okay, that's good. So well, everything looks fine, even though there's you know some kind of funniness, funny business. I'm kind of curious. It seems like that hell diver immediately t transported back to base. Did it die? No, it actually landed. I wonder if it never even took off, because that that was a problem we've had in the past. <laughs> it's possible. Anything is possible. I don't know what's going on with his spotters. Um, okay, let's... Uh, these guys will be repaired. I don't know, there's no bombs here actually. <laughs> Might have to switch... So, uh, the great news about these hell divers is we can easily switch them over to, to torpedo bombers should we start to run out of um, bombs. Obviously we don't need to worry about that too much. There's not a decision we can make against land targets like Iwo Jima, but should we end up needing to take out, you know, the the convoys, for example? I probably should have sent all of them to go in torpedo runs. Might have been kind of fun. I don't think there's anything else to do but to wait for these guys to arrive on target. Uh, they're coming home now. Yes. Good. I'm so happy. And I don't know why we're not going ultra fast quite yet. Oh, yes. She's going to make it. The Indy would just, just barely breathing. <laughs> she's on life support, but it looks like she's going to make it back. Okay, that's, that's good. It's quite good. Quite good enough. Quite close enough. All right, let's start giving orders then. There, they didn't climb yet. Uh, that's a bummer. Move here, and move here for now. Actually, I forgot we have to move beyond the island. Climbing, climbing, climbing. And you can move over here. On the island, climbing, climbing, climbing. Oh, one of them is the one. Okay, so you are going to get uh, be given different orders. You're the trouble, the trouble child. Everyone else paid attention in school while you were off goofing off. <clears throat> a 
But we'll start um, taking these guys one by one over to do the bombings. Lots of AAA emplacements, actually. Uh, you know what? It's going to be okay. We'll do a manual level bombing for this one. Wait, what? Did I just hear flak being shot? Because if I did, I'm not happy about it. This guy is going a different way. Yeah, he's definitely low enough to take flak, so let's move him a different direction. I don't want to lose these, it's just a pain in the butt, so I might do level bombing. You are going to move over this one. Perfect. Yeah, they'd have to level off, unfortunately, before... Uh, why are you doing that? Okay, what are you guys at? I think these guys are actually leveled off. 32, that's... Alright, if it's over 3,000, I think it's okay. Okay, that's one. Uh, might be a little bit off. That's a little better. Who's in front? Yeah, you're in front. Alright, three away, let's see what happens. Give these guys the order to land now, and you still have stuff to do, but let's give these guys the order to land. Good hit. Just perfect level to bombing. No big deal from dive bombers. <laughs> and what I mean by that is this is basically impossible. <laughs> be damn near impossible to do this. Alright, fly this way. So we can actually give these guys an order to form up and land. All right, next we have who? These guys? Who are supposed to be all at the same altitude, but I suspect that this guy is not. He is not. And lastly, we have this group, who's still moving this way. And they do appear to be at the right altitude, so this, this is the one that's gonna go in next. Um, I guess all I'll do is I'll peel them off one at a time. So first, Make my run. This guy will go after this one. It's also the closest target. If I do this, you know, front to back, then we should have more success. Oh boy. There we go. And that might be able to get two. Go after. And things are going to be a little tight in here. This one. Okay, there we go. And last but not least. Or maybe least. Let's see how he does. No pressure. Do we already do this one? 
I don't know. This guy's going to be... It's a mystery where he'll end up. All right. Wow. Okay, wow. Just look at that. We're <laughs> ready to go before we knew it. Okay, that's one. Two is pretty much ready to go as well. Hope that gets both. Three is aiming for that, right? A little bit more. A little bit less. That's good. There. And four. Yeah, so one, two, three. Yeah, this one's going to the correct one. We'll try to get that spotlight at the same time. Alright, the whole group can go home. And last but not least, we have this lovely group. Move back. Let's watch the effect on target. Did not, did not get multiple with this one. Maybe we can't blow up the air sirens. <laughs> Alright, so there's no AAA left? Is there? I don't think there is. So we can make precision bombing strikes now. We can just give orders and walk away, which is really nice. I don't have to think about things. Let's start getting the coastal guns. That's what we need to eliminate before we can do any kind of amphibious assault. And then, uh, that's it. So we just speed it up. They can do their thing. We'll find out very quickly if there is any anti-aircraft left, but no, it does not appear to be so. And there they go. And you know what? That means that now we can send it in the next wave. really wish we could take these out. In fact, I mean, I guess we could. There's nothing to stop us from taking it out. All right, next, let's get another group of let's just get groups of three I'm not sure if it'll be any uh, more effective at keeping them in groups together but we'll try it out it's gonna suit the Enterprise well since she only launched two of hers to begin with I mean three of hers to begin with and Yorktown, Hornet, Yorktown there we go you launch a three Let's go somewhere else for a moment. I really don't want to hear these sirens anymore. Um, they're still getting repaired. Let's go to the first sag or something. Just give me something else, please. Stop, please. Thank you. And there's a fleet in front of us? Heck yes. Very excited to see that. Hopefully we catch them, whoever they are. Okay, so do we have issues this time? Oh my god, yes, we did. Why are these guys launching without fuel? Okay. We have three, we have three, we have one. That's still probably going to be okay. I think that might be enough. And then I guess what we can do, supposedly, is actually trigger the amphibious invasion from far enough away. I think we will drop our dive bombs on these guys. The um, Well, at least we'll want to get up there, right? To draw them out. But I don't actually want to be so close to them as uh, to be able to hit the land targets. We really do want to be very precise about our engagement here. So as to avoid hitting the um, the airfield, it's really, really, really critical. I don't know why we're climbing. We don't really need to anymore. Just simple dive bombing runs.
Alright, close enough that we can start deciding our targets. Yes. Oops. Quickly decide our targets. Yes. Always gotta kill the hospital. Hospitals are evil things. They must always die. And I think that that's all the important stuff. Don't want to take out... Oh, the barracks. Would do want to take out the barracks. Might go top down for this one just so I avoid hitting the wrong thing. Yeah, it looks good. And who doesn't have orders yet? Okay, well, you know, uh, these searchlights are so annoying. Let's take those out too, I guess. Um, I'm gonna leave one on like a uh, standby duty. See what's left after all the carnage, all the other carnage is done. Alright, well, that was very effective. <laughs> Just take out this last searchlight, I guess. <laughs> That was really nice. So we kept the airfield. We kept the warehouse. It's good. Alright. So, mission accomplished so far. I mean, the amphibious landing forces, do they have guns? Because if they do, they will definitely kill the PT boats. <laughs> Once you guys land down it, we gotta go back to first sag as quickly as possible. All right. Plus, we need to see how they're how they're doing. Are they on target? A little bit further south. We want to intercept whatever fleet that is. Good, no more annoying air sirens. We do, however, have a fleet alert. Task Force 40 is ready. Ah, is that the, that must be. Yep. Oh no, this is at Hawaii. The first Baltimore is ready. Ah, fantastic. Well, I think we'll wait around for the um, carriers to arrive, but we will start getting some grid lease. Porters, Fletchers. I we don't. I mean, we could make do with Fletchers. I mean, so I don't think the AA strength is gonna matter that much in the group that I'm gonna target. I like the three depth charges. Ten. Let's just get some Fletchers. They're like so, you know, well known. Kind of nice. And I'll upgrade them right away just because, again, I don't know if I'm going to remember to do these upgrades unless I do it quickly. Yeah, we have the War Bonds. We upgraded the Iowa. I don't even know what that upgrade for the Iowa did. Uh-oh. Sub-04 is under attack. Oh, good. I mean, I don't really care about the... So what do we have here? Oh, wow. Another, like... CTF has uh, available. Okay, good. Another cargo group, and we have our, um, we have these guys. Looks like we can pull them, oh no we can't. Okay, so let's pull you, well, let's pull you this way. You're not the interesting party, unfortunately, I have to say. These guys are. Oops, maybe that was a little too far. Not just one, but all of you. And we'll probably have to get the Louisville to send up her aircraft again. But we're not nearly close enough yet, so we'll wait on a little bit on that one. <clears throat> Iwo Jima, 89% damage. Woo, my goodness. So I don't even remember getting the raid 500 war bonds. But we had to have because we've gotten 
up to 1400 and we were we started the episode at 1000 i clicked through it i i actually think i remember seeing it <laughs> oh what do we have here ah if i what the hell oh boy you, you kind of made a mess for yourself that means that we can conduct the amphibious invasion okay we can conduct the amphibious invasion no <laughs> you cannot <laughs> this is awesome <laughs> uh, finally the teleportation bug works in my favor <laughs> oh god I really hope it doesn't work against my favor as soon as <laughs> these guys come back I mean if I do mount come on go please don't appear suddenly alright good yeah they're very close and how many do we need? 19? Alright, that is actually most of these. How many was it? 30? So we have to have two thirds of them arrive. Still not important. We'll, uh, we can always launch another amphibious invasion. I, I don't know if, the, if you have to wait seven days if it fails. I've never failed, so it's hard to know. Just gonna let the situation play out. We have the war bonds to upgrade immediately Iwo Jima, and we will want to do that. These guys are definitely moving left to right. They're not close enough yet to launch, are they? They're getting closer, but not quite. We want to save that fuel. Yeah, well, I made the right decision not to launch so early. Oh. There we goes! Hooray! Let's view it on the map. This is really nice. Captured it. Go ahead and move home to rearm. We captured it with... What the f... Oh my gosh! I said no! It said, <laughs> I am so angry. I am so angry right now. <laughs> I don't want to like, well, I don't want to be so angry when I'm recording. I want to be happy. <sighs> it said, do you want to launch, uh, um, sorry. It says, CTF Bravo is requesting permission to launch its aircraft against Iwo Jima. Will you allow them? And I said, no. And they launched and destroyed everything. After my careful... I was so careful about this. Boy, man, this game just... I don't know if I'm going to do a second series on this game. I just... I don't know. I don't know. Wow. How did that happen? In God's name, did that happen? <sighs> the albacore is just obliviously steaming towards them. <laughs> they're, they, they actually seem to be making a pretty good pace. They're moving at a pretty good clip. Uh, the search net is going to find the albacore. Oh no. There we go. That's some pretty terrible fire. There it is. Alright, continue as planned to Tinian. They remove the, you know, whatever that is. Uh, battle stations. I'm just still shocked, dismayed, horrified that. <sighs> okay, let's actually just do this. Allow them to launch. I'm saying yes this time. I did not say yes before. I said no. Oh, 
Oh, what a bummer. Ay, ay, ay. All right, well, let's get this upgraded. 15 days. Still going to be a while before Mirror Island gets it. So we have time. We can probably go over and take Okinawa. I don't see much, much in the way of stuff which can stop us at this point. I think we will get these guys equipped as um, carrier. So these are all upgraded, right? These are Corsairs. Oh, they're not. Okay, upgrade all. That's nice that we can do it that way. And then it looks like if we go to the normal, make sure that we're not, nothing else is going on. Why are these guys stopped? Go, get in there. Every, I'm going to be cranky about everything for the rest of the episode. <laughs> it's so frustrating that Iwo Jima I just spent all that time, man. I said no, and then they still launched, and they obliterate everything, you know? It's just, yeah, I mean, I could have done a better job overseeing. But if you tell somebody, hey, um, don't drive to the left, drive to the right. And then you look down on your phone, and they make a right, or, you know, whatever, the wrong turn. You, 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 kind of at some point, you got to delegate. You have to tr trust people to do what they say they're going to do. Or, you know, yeah, whatever. I'm sure you guys all know. Don't need to beat a dead horse too much. Okay, so what was I looking at? It was at Guam, I think, that there was some stuff we could maybe do here. Since we don't need this, we already killed that fleet a long time ago. Um, okay, we have one Corsair, yeah, I think we'll get rid of these Hellcats, and instead, so what if we do upgrade all flights now? So I definitely don't want the Mitchell, and these are now Seahawks, that's fine, I think that this being such a forward operating point, it's worth it. No, the Avengers, absolutely not. We'll put the Catalinas back in for sure. And I think I want... Yeah, I think I'm going to swap these back in as well. So that's good. This is a good This is a good group. Swap that one out because we only need... Well, I mean, we'll, we'll leave that many. We might need to fly a few initial bombing missions to maybe knock out anti-aircraft. I mean, not really. We just basically want to absorb the fighters. And know that as soon as we move our carrier task force over here to cover the... Um, actually, we might need to swap things around. Right now, we're very... Well, I guess we're evenly distributed, but we'll probably have to go very bomber heavy. I mean, um, car uh, fighter heavy. What about the Hornet? Yeah, Hornet's even... They're all even. Uh, yeah, it's interesting. Okay, the cores, we're getting new Corsairs. Once those are done, then we'll move out. Some of the supply convoys are actually starting to reach. That's good news. Wake Island. Do we need this many going to Wake Island? I think I'll take this and take him to go on Iwo Jima. <laughs> Can Iwo Jima even hold this much? Actually, by the time it gets there, absolutely yes. So you, as like a huge supply, are going to go over to Iwo Jima. And Iwo Jima is going to get the full treatment. She's in such, She and Guam, these are the two that are in such good places, they're worth the 1500 I would say. So probably we should do the 1500 of Guam first. I mean, a Palau is another good, I would say another you can make a convincing argument that I should go capture Palau, and then I can raid more, even better. <laughs> or I could retake the Philippines, but uh, again, the name of the game at this point is just to get as far as I can, as fast as I can. So that's a lot of stuff arriving at truck. I don't think I need that much anymore, though you don't have fuel. You don't have fuel. I think the no fuel people should go to Guam. Yeah, this is too much going to truck, but we do want the fuel to go there. Some fuel. I want this to go to Guam. 4,000. This won't go to Tinian. 
This one can go to Marshall. Sure, I think that's still okay for one minor convoy to go there and fuel. Send this one over to Guam as well. Again, if we just get one more chance to sink something, we will upgrade Guam as soon as we get to 1500. <laughs> and I probably ought to, oh hooray, they made it to the port. <laughs> it's gonna be a long time, uh, maybe not even, but in theory I would say, <laughs> be a long time until they're ready. So two Corsairs is probably enough. We don't want this Avenger, that's for sure. Get rid of that. And we have one that's need to repair as well. We already have one that's ready to go. So swap those out. Here, these are all ASW. So we have you are. I mean, you'll get shot down if you're anything but ASW. We don't want the only spotters we want are actually these Seahawks. It's fine in this case. Yeah, it's a Seahawk. It's not a Kingfisher. So good. It's a nice little. Uh, we can probably upgrade a lot of these places just for fun. And the low fuel, yeah, so truck needs the fuel. Truck needs the fuel. Got 10,000 more fuel. Yeah, and the rest of the fuel is not going there. You're going to Marshall, that again is okay. This guy, he's delivering stuff to Marshall. Okay, who's going to Marshall? You're no longer needing a Marshall. The British are gonna take care of that. I assume. <laughs> Let's get this guy to go to Iwo Jima. Let's see how many supplies this guy delivers. Actually, I mean, we have a pretty good amount of fuel in Marshall Island. We must have already had a delivery there. And are you, you're ready to go. Okay, so let's move you back out. You're gonna start looking for more stuff to sink. Yeah, we probably don't need all those Corsairs. We probably could go a little heavier on the Helldivers, but this is another group which would be great to have up here to help with the B-29 situation eventually. Okay, you're not on, you're not on, that's what I was going to do. what's your problem? Oh, view on map. Ooh, interesting. Oh, fantastic. All right, well, let's attack. Attack and attack. Um, Guam, are you able to launch yet? No, I don't think so. I think, what is it, the F in airfield that allows you to fly? Um, maybe Tinian should get it instead of Guam. They're both pretty valid targets. Or, you know, for the next upgrade, the major. I mean, we'll probably be able to get it after we sink these two things, so. They're stuck. Oh, good. If you on map. Another one at Puget Sound. Well, shoot. I'm going to leave the war bonds. I think we'll upgrade. I think we're done with supply convoys for the end of the game. Still curious, 103, 36, so 7,500. See how much he brings of that. Did some good damage, sank the heavy cruiser. New supply convoy, okay, very good. Do another attack in a moment. These guys are good. Another attack. And I need to get them into actually torpedo bomber shape now so we can start using torpedoes. How is the fleet doing in terms of bombs? Yeah, we're actually really low on bombs. Okay, we'll switch them all over. I'll do that after they drop these. Got him. All right, now move back south. Oh, what's this? Ha, huh. that's not much. I don't have to use these guys to do anything though because unfortunately, I don't think we need a lot here. Let's get maybe four. Four. 
for and four, and then I'm not gonna look at you. I'm just gonna let you do your thing. Uh, swat. Oh, these guys have to land first, and then we'll set them up as dive or torpedo bombers. Probably should have done the same thing in the north. Okay, it's nice. So, oh man, it's gonna take a while. Okay, they're all good. And same thing here. And we missed one. Fourth one? Ah, one of them, doesn't matter. All right, good. Wait for those aircraft to be not being repaired. Yeah, they're being repaired, it says. I don't know why. <sighs> okay, that's gonna be a dead convoy for sure. Okay, there it is. Uh, that gives us the 1500. What, the big question now is what gets upgraded? What gets upgraded? You guys ready to go? Still not. Well, you know what, come on. Let's just go ahead and attack. We'll give them the order to attack. You can do it with your eight inch guns or you can do it with your torpedo bombers, whatever you prefer. Looks like they're gonna use their torpedo bombers. All right, and you guys move back towards Iwo Jima. You'll land as soon as your hell divers arrive back. <clears throat> really successful. Right, this has already been for over 40 minutes. We did what we wanted to do, capture Iwo Jima. We didn't do it in the way we wanted to, which is with perfect health from the airfield. But hey, you know what? It's going to take a while for all this stuff to arrive from Air Island anyway, so it's not a big deal. It's just annoying because I had planned it out perfectly. The game kind of backstabbed me. Guam or... Okay, that still needs seven days. I'm going to go with Tinian because Tinian actually has the better functioning facilities. I don't want to do that though. I, I feel like Guam is... I just got to go with Guam. It makes more sense. It's more centrally located to the area I want. Like Iwo Jima and Guam kind of make Tinian a little bit redundant. Here goes our torpedo bombers. 25 and 2. Let's see how many are damaged from that. Alright, come back and land. 25 and 2, 25 and 2, 25 and 2. Yeah, 25 and 2. That was pretty good. Get another strike out in a moment. Doesn't like me running that fast. CTF Rob is good. Yeah, we know that. They're just there to hang out, essentially. Let's get another attack going. More torpedoes. Down to five ships. Fantastic. And look at those war bonds. All right. View on the map. Task Force 42, which is what? The three destroyers. They're ready to go. They're... Let's put them back at Mare Island, though. Oh, what? Wait, wait, what? Collect atomic bomb components? The destroyers can do that? I'm gonna wait for the uh, heavy cruisers, no matter what. I've already done it, basically, so. Number two's ready, okay. We have the two carriers here, but there should be a third one coming any day now. Yeah, literally one day. is what I expected. Um, should we launch another attack? Five left. These guys ready to go? They're a great source of <laughs> war bonds. Let's 
we're gonna have a lot more shells as soon as first sag picks up the shells from Tinian and we can launch another raid into the Philippine Sea but boy we're really hammering these Japanese convoys really hammering them all right so we were at like 6500 I think oh good oh Marshall Islands has been taken care of oh that was very nice so whoever's going to Marshall Islands can actually be moved elsewhere Anybody going to Marshall Islands? Yeah, a lot. I, you know what? I might even go. Let's go to Guam because we are upgrading it. So I think it'll be upgraded by the time. All right, good. That's fantastic. All right, so then go and replenish once more over there. And we'll send you as soon as you're just done repairing or whatever. We might want to swap. Nah, I was going to say we can swap them out for more bombers, but nah, it's fine. We'll use torpedoes as much as possible. And uh, look at that, 46 minutes, another long episode. I think that's all we needed to cover for this one. I mean, we're cranking along, and it's really nice that we've kind of consolidated things down to a reasonable amount of units. I only need to worry about CTF Bravo, CTF Able, ta uh, First Sag, and of course Task Force 22, because it's just such a heroic unit, but it's not that big of a deal, even if uh, I neglect it for a while. Well, now I don't, I mean, it's not a matter of neglecting, it needs repairs. <laughs> but they survived, so no shark attack by the Indianapolis, which is great. And here comes another. Let's get these guys to be now torpedo bombers. I think I don't even need to select all of them. I think I'll just get, they probably work better in groups, but... Yeah, we'll just do it. I wonder why this upgrade thing just went down. Alright, we'll leave two. Such a pain in the bum. One, two, three, four. It doesn't take any war bonds. I wonder why I upgrade whatever is grayed out. Okay, last but not least. So we'll have two, <laughs> excuse me, two Helldivers still with the dive bombers. <clears throat> I can do this fast enough. After a 50 minute episode, I'm just not clicking as fast as I used to. Um, okay, that's good. So they're all there. They're the way we want them. Wait a couple more days and we'll launch this attack. But you know what? Let's just lead off the next episode with that attack. It's pretty straightforward. Be something fun to start with. CTF Able's back and fully attached again. Oh, look at they're going to collect from Numea. Is Numea considered a surplus port? I mean, it is, but it doesn't have that much to take from it. Anyway, for now, we'll wrap this video up. Thanks for watching, and until the next one, take care.